You know what I mean? What's up? What's good, man? Hey, man, listen. I, I, I just was entertaining the folks until you hopped on, bro. You know what I mean? No doubt. Man, how you feeling, though, man? It's good to see your face. I mean, we didn't talk, but I, I ain't get a chance to really see your face. I hopped on. Um, uh, you were on somebody's live like a day or two ago, and I kind of hopped on the live just to, you know, be nosy for real and do my homework. That's it. Oh, yeah, no, my man. My man Armadeus, you know, super producer, music director, instrumentalist, just, you know, across the board, you know, good dude. Right. So, like, you know, so I'm just, go I'm ahead, just I'm chilling, man. No, no, I was saying I'm just chilling, man, you know, just connecting with people that I know, man, you know. All right. Well, you look like you're in good spirits. That's the, that's the blessing of that. You feel oh, me? Oh, yeah, no, nah, man, I ain't, you know been through too much to go through not right now man for real you know it's just right. about you know just trying to stay healthy and you know stay on point pay attention to what's going on and you know other right. than that just create so look uh speaking about pay attention to what's going on how are you how are you making out let's let's say before we even get into the music how were how were you making out how was the family making out how the kids making out how how was all that going no, nah, man, everybody's good, man, you know, just, you know, thankfully, man, you know, um, all that's really on point, you know, from, like, my mother, you know, down to my kids and, you know, their mothers and, you know, everything else. So, you know, when it was time to lock down, everybody locked down, you right. know, take some good herbs and drink some tea and, you know, just, you know I mean, just do a lot of stuff. When, when you do it already, it, it, it's not like a shock to, you know, have somebody say, oh, well, you need to, like, boost your immune system or, you know, stop eating a bunch of junk or whatever, like, right. you know, you do that to the side, but, you know, other than that, man, I mean, I don't go around people too, you know, I'll be in the house, right. man, you, you ain't right. running to me nowhere, right. so, you know, this shelter in place is good, I'm, I'm cool. Yo, it, it, it's funny because I haven't, um, it wasn't, it wasn't like, this shit wasn't a, it wasn't a, the only difference was I, I haven't been going to the studio to do my show in DTLR. Right. And I haven't been going out to eat because after I, I, I can't, I don't cook at home. So, right. you know, we, we usually go to a restaurant. That's the only difference. And it's given me an opportunity to really lock in. I just was talking to somebody on the live before you got in. And I was like, this, this was supposed to happen. This was supposed to make sure. We got locked in. We we were creative and we worked on the shit that we were supposed to work on. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That, nah, that's man, no doubt about that. I, I've I've been so creative since I've been in the house. So it's like it's shit that I should have been doing already that I'm really locked in and, and, and doing right now. Well, you see, know? like the good thing, like I I feel like you know, for everybody that has an attitude like that, you know when we really had to lock into what this new normal is, you right. know, the habits that we should have had, you know, and the stuff that it will just be normal. So, you know, you're going to go create something instead of knowing that you're running around and then it's like, you'll put it to the side, like, oh, I'm going to get to that whenever, when you really be having the time when you think about it, you know, right. it, you got to take the positive out of everything, man. That's how we progress. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it, um, that was one of the reasons why I reached out to you because I'm like, yo, I, I known this man for over double digit years and unless we kind of working, we ain't really talking. We ain't crossing paths. Right. So I, I needed to say, like, yo, let me let me reach out the note and let's see what he doing, you know? And yeah, no doubt. Was like, yo, I, I got some music. I'm going to work on this mix now. As soon as I'm done, uh, I'm going to send you a record. I'm going to send you a record. We're going to get on. We're going to chop it up. So that's what uh this what brought us here, man. So what are you actually working on? Can you can you let the people know what you're actually working on right now? I mean, you know, um like in February, I've just gone through like a lot of records. Like I'm always working on stuff and I'll just put stuff to the side because I don't really have no reason to do nothing with it. So, you know, I started releasing some records that, you know, more so let people see the scope of you know, what I do is like 20 something records. Right. So then I was like, I was really just, I was in the house messing around and you know, I mess around with the hip hop stuff and rock stuff or whatever. I was like, but it's been a long time since I just made one of them records that's like the foundation of, you know, what people know me for. 
for real. So, you know, I just started vibing one day and the record just started coming to me. And then from there, I was like, all right, you know, I feel like people just need to hear this now. Like, it was other times where I wouldn't really do R&B because I was like, ain't nobody going to listen to it. Nobody going to play it, you know, whatever else. And aside from people being home, it's just like, it's a certain feeling that came from, you know, that sound and that music that, you know, I feel like if everything else is just making you party and, you know, everything, you know, you need a, you need a point where you can just sit back with, you know, if you got some anxiety about what's going on or just, you know, some time to have, like, a good time with, like, your partner that you might not usually get a chance to sit down and, you know, talk to and, you know, have, like, a good, something for that you know, part of it, because we had balance, you know, we could go party, and then, you know, when we was done, we go play, you know, the album set, you right. know what I'm saying, right? so, you know, I mean, really, that was it, and, you know, it, like, I started getting a good response, and I felt like, you know, it was just time, like, I wouldn't never do that for nobody else other than the group, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, now that we just home, and I got, you know, some time to do some stuff, like, it was just, it was just cool. So, so before we, before we get into the song, because I want you to introduce it when we get into it. But basically, would you do you feel like R&B had, like, from, from the time that y'all were running the music industry to now, of course, mm -hmm. of course it's changed, but do you think that, like, your, your songs, your records, I, like when I told him I was a great place with Drew Hill and I started just kind of going through the, through, through the catalog, it's timeless music. Do you think that timeless music is made R&B wise like right now in 2020? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's really the same type of focus on it to make it. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm not saying that like artists aren't sitting there like, man, this gonna play forever. But with the way that the industry became. It didn't seem like anybody was thinking about forever. It was like, you know, it's like, what can I get right now? Like, you know, next year I might not be hot. So I don't know if, you know, I mean, it definitely doesn't go into it across the board in the production like it did in the 90s. You know, like, you could tell stuff that, like, somebody just threw it together. It could be a hit record, but a hit record ain't always a great record. So, you know what I'm saying? But just really that, that attention to detail. Like, I remember, like, I went in the studio with like Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. So I was working with Trey Songs, right? And it was like they said then they did the track and you know, he sang the song, but then he really went back and, you know, produced it and, you know, like got the sounds in there right the way that they wanted, you know, and you know, just stuff that you do when you care about music. You know what I'm saying? You treat the music right like it's gonna treat you right. And 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 I think after years of people seeing everything else, now they understanding that it's like, it's a difference. You know, you do have like, I think that like, um, like her and, um, and it's a few of them out there that I think, you know, have records that could have that stand power, but I don't know if it's like an overall thing to where it's not more than like just making women want you or men want you, you know, depending on what you, you know, genre, I mean, what person you are for real is it, it, I, I just I don't know if that's the mind state. I think it's like I need an immediate reaction. So yep. whatever's going to give me that reaction, I'm I'm gonna do that. And and, I, and for real, I ain't gonna bullshit you, bro. I I really feel like it's this, right? Is this is this device right here? Because what happens is the the generations that came kind of like under us, mm -hmm. they, they want shit so fast, but. If they take the time and listen to, you know, the guys that come before them or women that come before them to try to give them the food, a lot of times we'll try to give them the food. They don't necessarily take the food, digest the meal, sit and take the time and digest the meal. Right. And then they want to go and they want an instant reaction. And you can't skip steps, bro. Like, nah, you at can't all. Skip, you can't skip steps. You might even get uh, some, some of what you want. For a second, but it's going. It's only going to be for a second. No, there's absolutely. No, there's no uh, staying power. There's no consistency. There's no. Uh, there's no substance to it because 
you skip the bunch of fucking steps. And for real, in life, you can't skip the steps. Nah, you I mean, like... I mean, look, both of us been around since the beginning of what both of us right. were doing. Like, huh? But, you know what I'm saying, since the, since the beginning of that, so it was a different thing because, like, we went out and did shows from the beginning, you know, like, right. you outperforming, like, you getting to know how to, you know, work with people and be around people right. and what right. the crowd, you know, likes versus what they don't like and, you know, all this other stuff, so that's something that you go into the larger stage with where most of these people now, it's like, it's a lot of people listening to them. But then when it goes over into having to get in front of people and perform and talk, you know, don't nobody know what to do. And right. then, you know, the, the fan base dwindles down, you know, from there because it's like, oh, well, if that ain't nothing about nothing, so let me just go over to the next person that's doing just about the same thing. But I like that song this week. Right. And, 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 and for real, that, that's what it is. And, and that's what it is with everything. Yo, like, like, you can't skip the process, man. This shit is a marathon, not a sprint. And some of these, like, just on the DJ, on the DJ shit, some of the guys would be like, Yo, why, how is he still, how is he still here? Because I outwork you and I ain't skip no step. That's right. You know I'm, I'm going to outwork you and I, I'm not going to skip any steps. I get it. And I ain't necessarily want it fast. I know it's going to come. If I lay the groundwork and a foundation, I know the shit is going to come. I mean, plus, if you love it, man, if you love it, you go, you're you going to be in it. Like, you're going to find something to do. You know what I'm saying? You're going to learn other, you know, aspects of it because it's like it becomes such a part of your life that you know that, like, no matter what's going on, I still want to be able to be a part of music. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that that's what it was for me, you know, forever, whether it was being a writer, producer, going to be an A&R, whatever it was, it was like, all right, maybe right now, like I said, we're doing we're just with producing R and B music. It was like right now that's not what people are looking for. But that don't have nothing to do with my ear or that don't have nothing to do with my relationship with people or, you know, whatever else. So I just had to parlay it into something else instead of just trying to beat it over somebody here and then eventually don't nobody care, you know, and it's like, oh man, well, or like people are believing you and know you can do other stuff, but then sometimes like artists just get stuck in wanting to prove this one thing and it's like yo if you work hard to be in here especially as long as we've been doing this like you gotta get out here and do a whole like people expect you to know a whole bunch of stuff right. like that's just what it like people expect you to you know and the stuff that you don't know they expect you to be intelligent enough to have people around you that know it i mean at the least yeah, so but but that's what it is you have to you know you gotta be really like accountable for your own shit and really transparent at the, at the end of the day. So if you get to a point that you feel like I, I want to do something I don't know, then you gotta put you gotta put some things in place, and you're not you gotta put some things in place to get where you want, and you're responsible for your well being and your success. So like I know you're not looking at you know the the, the the guys or the group saying that because whatever the group is doing, nope, is not successful. Nope had to take his own life and career in his own hands in order to be successful and feed your kid. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to be responsible for that, man. So no, man. I mean, you know, that's that's what it was from the beginning. I think that, you know, like when we first like all had like solo deals and stuff like that, it was like it was a choice. It was like you could be at home worrying about what we not doing or you could take time for all the stuff that you think about when you're on the road that you want to do or everything else and, you know, prove to people that you are whatever it is that you saying. And, you know, I think that happens with like a lot of groups. Like you have a chance where, you know, you can step out there and be the person you want to be, but you get stuck in that mentality of like people just being around doing stuff and, you know, you forget that like it was a time where you had to go out there and like hustle and like be in people's faces and, you know, work for real like you know it's easy to get to get lazy when you do this man especially like when you real good at it right. because you're sitting around looking like well who else gonna do it well i ain't gonna wait 
Right. You know, we used to be able to go two years without making a record. And now it's like these young motherfuckers be making a record every day. You be like, yo, yo I can't even keep. <laughs> yo, it, it's almost like it, you can be this monumental ass person, and if you are not giving them information and product or whatever, it's like yo, the, the mentality and, and the mindset and the and the way their mind think is so short. They on to the next. They don't even like nothing classic anymore. It's nah, like, man. They, if if it's if it happened already, that shit old to them. So it gotta be all new, and you gotta continue to give give product and stay consistent. Yeah, man. I mean, just and, and connect. You know what I'm saying? Like I found that like 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 take Mary J. Blige, right? I always felt like people connected with her because. The feeling was there in the music, but it was like, you could really be like, yo, that's like my cousin. Right. Or like, that's homegirl I know that live across the street. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, as artists, when you really start, you know, being transparent about stuff and like, it's like, yo, I was like that when I was in high school. Or like, oh man, that's what made me love music. You know what, that's the stuff that, like, I, I'd rather have the people, I don't need a whole bunch of people. I need the people that understand what I'm doing and like we can share ideas and like feel the same way because that's not going to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you, you could get that, you could smash all the charts in the world, but then 25 years later, it's like, it don't matter. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Or you could just know, like, I want to be in this. So I'm going to just every day I'm perfecting it. Like no matter how long I'm like, I'm in it every day. It's going to be something I didn't know that I know better, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to be in the position where I got to, like now, I'll be in the house like, yo, well, there ain't nobody to mix the record for real because, like, ain't nobody going to the studio and everybody don't really do that in the house. So then, like, is everybody supposed to just, like, sit around and wait and nothing to happen? Or it's like, well, I done spent all these years in the studio with these engineers. I mean, I know what it's supposed to sound like. The rest of it just the button. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 again, it, it just goes... It, you know, it goes back to what we were talking about when we first got on the line. The fact that this shutdown, this shutdown made me work and love what I do even more. Though I, I, I really, I've been mixing and really, I love playing music again. Like, I mm -hmm. just really love playing music again. And I should have been doing my own podcast. I should have been reaching out to everybody that I know. But because you you just in that you kind of was I was in that rut like just mm -hmm. uh, going going to, going to do this going to do that going to do that and by the time I was done I was out of gas like it's like, like I'm trying to go to sleep too <laughs> you know what I'm saying now my 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 house is I set up a podcast studio in my dining room you know, mm -hmm. I, you know set up a, a mixing in you know in another part of my house so it's it's um, it's made me love and create and um, put me in a space that I, I needed to. So for me, I, I really do feel like this shit was supposed to happen because nothing. Oh happens. yeah. Nothing I mean, happens that's not supposed to happen. Everything is part. But of I mean, the, the the greater part of it is, man. Like by us being people involved in music, man. Like we are the lifeline to everything that's going on at any time. Right. Like you could choose to be that or you could choose to ignore it. Right. But because you got that gift to move people, it's like you got to use it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not in it. This is not like a normal situation where it's like a disaster, and then, you know, people can mobilize, and we're like, oh, we're going to go over here and help people out. It's like everybody frozen, and that type of shit happening at the same time. Right. Right. So it's like you can only do what you can do. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, we have the chance right now where everybody be complaining, can't nobody see what I'm doing and I'll be doing this and don't nobody know. It's like, you could just do it. Right. Like, just do it and make it something, you know, make it something that even, if, you know, if for a moment, it could take somebody out of that thought of whatever it is that they're going through right now. Because everybody going through something. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's all relative. It don't matter what level you at, you losing money right now. For real, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, how much money you got? You losing money. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you got 
you need those moments. People got their kids in their house running around, ain't never been around their kids all day long since they've been born. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like people, people that's married meeting each other for the first time the first and saying what they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, now you gotta figure out if you really like this motherfucker. <laughs> it's like this gonna be the test. Really like it. it, yeah. It's gonna be some relationships stronger. It's gonna be some some breakups after this shit is over with. You hear me? But yeah, man. Let's let's get into the music real quick, man. Um, I need you to intro the song. Uh, you know, let them know, you know, what, again, what inspired it. Intro it to everybody, and then we're going to play the song, and then we're going to finish chopping it up. All right, cool. No, what's going on, everybody? This is, um, you know, I've been working, you know, since we've been home, and, you know, I wanted to, you know, just give everybody, you know, for a moment, you know, a chance to remember what it was when, you know, you heard that R&B song that just made you stop for a second and, you know, if you was with somebody that you love, you know, you want to slow dance or it might make you want to use it as the song you go to, you know, play for somebody when you mess up, you know, whatever it is. This song is called An Apology, you know, it's by me. I work with um, my boys, The Profound Sounds, and my man, Denard Watson, you know, and, uh, it, you know, I hope you enjoy it. All right, man, let's do it, man. No, 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 no,
I wasn't so much thinking about me, for real. Right. As I was thinking about a message that was excuse me on my Instagram thread a couple of weeks ago, just talking about everything that's going on. And this um, this girl was like, she worked at um nine one one, and she was just talking about all the domestic violence you know, calls she was getting and like, you know, people hitting people with cars and shooting people, like, you know, just, and I'm thinking like, for real, a lot of times people don't have like conflict resolution, for real. So, you know, yeah, part of it was just thinking about stuff that I just ain't pay attention to at the time. It ain't even that I ain't know, but in between, you know, times of just being busy, like, you miss stuff. But then, like, the bigger thing of the, the bigger theme of the record was just, like, life and, like, yourself and, like, the time that you want to spend with yourself. And, right. like, you know what I'm saying? They say, like, the biggest thing of moving forward is, like, forgiving yourself first, okay. for real. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a quadruple entendre you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it, you can you can pull a lot from it, but you know it was it's definitely fully from the feeling of now and just like a bunch of stuff that you know has like been going or going on, and then just being in the house and like, well, how can I put that all together like simply in a package that you know? Cause like I I put out a lot of records, and you know I think people like support because like I'm gonna make some quality music, but I don't really make R&B like that because like I never wanted to do it for nobody other than Drew Hill. That's why it's like, you only heard like rough ends and like people that I'm really close to. So that's like the first time that like I did that like for myself, but it was really only cause I was like by myself and I'm like, I, how the fuck long I gotta wait for this record to get out for real. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey, we, we won't, we, actually I'm gonna get uh. I'm gonna get Charlie and Dave on here too, man. We we gonna chop it up with them. Yo, I got a yo, I got a record. I right, so like. Well, y'all, Charlie and Dave is rough ends, not just. Yeah, you know. rough ends. So I got a. Re I've been working on this album. It's called Mental Stillness. It's gonna come out in January. So it's like I sent them a track to do for the app, and it's called Zoned Out. Yo, it's so like, man. I got you know. I got a joint with um, Gucci Rock. I got, you know, I got a joint with um, D-Boy, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, it, so, you take, so you taking care of home? Taking yeah, no, nah, I mean, like that, like, and they'll tell you, especially D-Boy, like, like, I went in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, you know, and not even, you know, on nothing of it, and it was like, I posted a track, and it was like, he was sound dope on it. Right. And then he hit me, and it was like, yo, where you at? Where we going to meet at? You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. And it was like, you know, the next day we in there. Right. And, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. Like, hold up. I grew up around here. Like, but it's like, whatever. Like, I don't go around. I ain't going nowhere that I don't need to be or I ain't supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, like, the reason why I'm still around here is because I moved away. You know what I'm saying? I was gone, you right. know for like a long time and what I what I realized if you don't go and come back and like plant your feet, you know what I'm saying, here sometimes for real, like you lose that thing because it's something about Baltimore that ain't nowhere else. That like if you got it, you got it. And nobody you know, that's part of why, you know, we're able to have these imprints where, you know, people automatically gravitate you towards you because you're from Baltimore because it's just something here you, you can't get it from nowhere else, man. Yo, and, and it's crazy. Every it, It's funny because um, me and D-Boy talked and me and D-Boy going to work on something, you know, similar to what, what me and you doing today, right? But I was listening to mm -hmm. his, his new record that the guy Scott did and he said, man, when, mm -hmm. I, when I go someplace, they think I'm, they, they love me the way I say too. They love the mm -hmm. way I say too. Cause it's a we say we say those words with, with those O's different. We say it different. Yeah, oh no, they love that. They love man, look. Yeah. I get a text it, say too. Now I ain't messing with you today. I ain't really, right. like I mean it's really like that's really that's really right. uh, that's really a thing, man. Like and 
But I mean, for years, for I mean, for traveling since we was younger, I mean, hairstyles, it's so much that, because everybody passed through Baltimore once, you know what I'm saying? It is like such a thing right. to see that, like, you're going to take that back to wherever you're from. So, you know, the influence is, is, is right. everywhere, man. Right. We, we, we built we built different. Shout out to CR. So, you know, he produced uh, uh, no doubt. A Boy's new. new oh, no, nah, look, look, look. He, I got a track from. I got a track from CR that me and D-Boy going to do too. So, you know, like, you know man, it's, like, it's a, right. it's a good time, man. Like, I felt like for me, I just needed to get out and see people. You know what I'm saying? And once I knew that people that I knew was moving around and they was doing stuff, it was like, all right, that's cool because I ain't going around nobody. I don't know. So, you know, that just made it easier right. to, you know, connect with a lot of people that I normally, you know, probably wouldn't even have known like that or, you know, let alone got to work with. So shout out to my man, Chauncey White. Right. Right. You know, right. You know um, Speak, speaking of, speaking of D boy, and then I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a get off the, the D boy thing, right? So you know, I know I knew him just from being in the street. I knew him from right. being in the street for years. So then he like Jay, you know, what I mean, I, I got rec I got records now. So he was rapping, and back in the day, and he he always respect me for it. I'm like, yo, this ain't the record, bro. You know what I'm saying? This ain't it, right? This ain't it. This ain't it. And now, he, now he's pissed off. You know what I mean? Now he pissed off at me, right? He, he pissed off at me. So I happened to see him. I happened to see him on Pennsylvania Avenue. I was shooting a video. I was in somebody's video. Somebody was shooting a video. And I was in somebody's video. I saw him, and we pulled each other to the side. And um, I'm like, yo, well, really, what you got? He like, come on. So we went out to the Range Rover. We sat in. So he played me. He played, like, two records. And then he was like, well, I don't think I don't think you're going to like this one. I'm like, no, play it. And that was the one that I liked. That was the one that took off on the radio that had, you know what I'm saying, a, a thousand spins on ERQ. Um, he had to, to do stars doing the hook, uh, trash bags. And that's what mm -hmm. started taking them. So it, it's, um, you know, he's been at it for, for a long time. You know what I mean? He's he been at it. And now... I mean, and this this new record he got with CR, I think is um is a real is a is a, is a worldly record. You see what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't just about the hood. It's a feel good record. You know what I mean? Right. It's a feel good record. So that thing from Baltimore is different, man. Um, I appreciate you, man, really taking the time and, and, and sitting and chopping up. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, man. I mean, this go all the way back to school, go, man. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all it's all we yeah. back to school. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. You know, man, no, I appreciate it, man. Please tell them um how can they follow you, how can they get hold of the music. You know, please let them know uh, this is your shameless plug, bro. Oh yeah, y'all can um check me out. No chaotic is coming, N O K I O T I C is coming. And, you know, that's pretty much like my main page where, you know, I talk about everything. Uh, Nokiotic is the strain of marijuana that I got coming. Shout out to G5 Cultivation out in Vegas. I got my license to grow, like, fully. You know, it ain't just, like, throw my name on it. I've been there planting plants and cloning them and all that other stuff. So, you know, we got that going on. We got the well, music got, going on. We got to go to Vegas with you, man. We got to go to Vegas with you, yo. Yo, it's, I mean, it's, it's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it, man. I'm telling you, just trying to, you know, just, what up, Lisa? Just trying to, you know, it, man, I had a lot of opportunity to meet a lot of great people just on some regular stuff, not no industry stuff, not no, yo, what you going to do? I mean, just like really having conversations over a period of time that you get to learn a person and you don't even realize that sometimes, like, that person might be the key to like an opportunity that you've been, you know, one, but just didn't even know who to talk to. So it's just like that just just telling people, you know, like for real, all of that being an asshole, all this stuff is like cool, but being humble will take you way further than any of the other antics right. that you, you know, had going on. But, and, and, and then just being prepared, like knowing what you want, because if you work hard, somebody going to ask you what you want to do at some point. So you just got to be prepared in that moment to say, I want to do this and then be able to go do it. Right. And, and that's where, uh, you know, I got a phone call, I promise you. 
last night. And th that that exact thing you just said, just, just I swear, it, it happened. It wasn't even 24 hours ago. You know what I mean? Just because they see me working. You know what I mean? They see us working, and it's going to work. And I just, yeah, I like, I, I'm going to outwork you. Or if I can't that, outwork you, you will motivate me to work hard. I mean, that's, it, so that's been it from the beginning, man. Hard. Look. You know, we got in this game, man. We ain't have all of the nothing that nobody had, man. We just went everywhere and sang. From doing the firehouse out in Orange Mills all the way to the halfway around the world. It's like wherever you had a microphone or enough people for us to, you know, do what we, you know, was going to do, we was going to give it our all, man. So, you know, it's like you, like I said, like you had kids and stuff and you get married and, you know, it kind of changes you. I mean, but I think everybody changes, you know, in that. And you got to really, like, you got to really, really be able to find that. Like, a couple of weeks ago, I put up, like, a, a picture from when I was a kid. And I was like, I had to go find that person right there. You got to keep that. You got to keep that dream that you had that, you know, ain't make no sense for real. You know, and keep that energy and just keep pushing. You know, it's like... Every day is another day to learn something else. You know what I'm saying? And don't be afraid to get around people that's more, like always get around people that's smarter than you. Find right. people that do it better than yeah. you. So, so listen, right? So, so Cassandra is on, is on, is on the, on the feet, right? Mm -hmm. We did our podcast yesterday and I swear to you, bro, we just had that again, not even 24 hours ago. And we was like, yo, if you are the smartest person in the fucking room, you in the wrong room. Period. I, Absolutely. I, it, it don't, I don't want to be in the room where I'm the smartest guy. I gotta, you gotta inspire me to, to, to do better, to go harder. Like, right. I can't, I, yo, I need, I wanna, I wanna get the knowledge. I wanna soak it up. I wanna be a sponge. Like, I just. I don't know, man. I, just... I mean, that's everything, man. I remember my homeboy told me, right, you know, I was going through this, like, dating phases, you know, whatever. And he was like, man, you need to meet a woman that make you just want to be a better person. Right. And just get to the person that you that you see yourself being. Like, you know, not that I was messing with, like, some, you know, people that weren't doing it. He was like, but sometimes it's like y'all be the same person, so you can't really puss each other, for real. Right, right. You know, or whatever. It's like you got to have that person that's just going to look at you and be like, all right, you know what? I get it. Let's make it happen. Whatever it is that you ain't got yet, I'm gonna help you figure it out, and right. we gonna figure it out together. And you keep. We too old for that other shit. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> right. And, 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 <laughs> if you ain't doing right, man, to tell you, man, you fucking up. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be transparent and accountable enough to take that. You and it might. Yeah. Happen. It might. Yeah. Happen. But, Look, it take hold up. It take a long time to get that one though. Yeah, to really just to really it. just sit there and be like, you know what? Like the the to be able to do that and to be able to say that shit to yourself for real. Be like, y'all be doing that shit. Be I, I could probably not do that for real. Like I don't that don't help. Like it, that's that's that grown man shit, man. Yeah, yo, but that's how you. But that's why. But that's why. Like you had that energy. That's why you're creating the things you're creating right now. You're doing the things that you're doing because it's like you know that everything is moving to the good and the positive of every situation that's around you. Nothing is selfish. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you get the best. Like, you got to give. And, you know, it, and more times than not, you know, people are always looking for, like, money and stuff like that. The greatest thing somebody can give you is some knowledge of how they got the money. Right, right. And, and, and for real, it's you know, and I could need the money, but sometimes, like, I can't, it can't always be about the money because it take the authenticity out of it. You dig yeah. what I'm saying? And then the blessing come, the blessing will come, if you, if I, if I don't make it all about the money, then the blessing will come. You, you oh, know yeah. What I'm saying, like, it'll come. My favorite saying is, man, sometimes when all you want is money, all you end up with is money. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You missed that. You missed that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get that and that's it. And I hope you know what to do with it because the, the opportunity to, you know what I'm saying? Like this, the CEO of the Fortune 500 company could give you $10 million or he could say, I want you to come in here and basically shadow me so I can show you how I run this whole shit. Right, right. 
Right. And give you two. I'm gonna take that two, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, and I'm gonna know how many, how much sugar he wanting his motherfucking coffee and right. shit. And we go, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be right there, like, yeah, whatever. You need the newspaper, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. Yeah. Short, short of being, the, you know, some demeaning shit, but you know, people don't understand that, man, because it's like people think that if you have all the stuff that you see everybody else have that that's doing what you want to do, that means you're gonna be able to do it. But once again, going back to the skipping steps, if you don't know how they got there, if you don't know how to operate this machine or talk to this person in this department or whatever, you're just going to lose all the shit, for real. So, I mean, you know, but like I said, lessons growing up and lessons from, you know, wanting to be better and wanting to be great at your craft and what you do. Right. It's funny. I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you and it, it just is like an affirmation that, I, that we were supposed to talk today. Because um was doing some homework, doing some homework yesterday, and probably fell asleep about 2.15, 2.30. And mm -hmm. I probably got up about 6.30, about 6.30, quarter to 7. And, you know, went to the bathroom, took a shower. And my body is saying, yo, go lay in the bed and rest until you got to talk to no, right? That's mm -hmm. what somebody's saying. But I'm like, yo, I got to get up. I got to. And I end up falling asleep in the chair with my MacBook on my lap <laughs> and, 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 and my pen and my pencil. I swear to God, I fell asleep with the, with the seat. Up Shout there. out to my man, Jay White. You know what I mean? I fell asleep. But it just was, it was, you know, um, it, it, you can't, you can't. I, I got to work hard. I got to put the hours in to get where I'm trying to get to. I, I just, I, I, I can't, man. Winners, win, winners, winners go and keep going when they tie, when they don't got nothing in the tank. No, nah, man. I got nothing. I don't got nothing in the tank. I don't got nothing. I don't got no more to give, and I still push through. That, that's how winners win. That's how Kobe won. That's nah, how man. Won. That's how the, won. One of the greatest lessons I had to learn, man, was how to work do all of it because you know when I was younger shit would sit me down I'd be like yo all right hold up let me catch my breath but that that catch my breath turned into I do it tomorrow turn into next week turn into whatever so it was like you know I had to learn how to compartmentalize what life brings you right. and had that right. I tell people it's like when you play a PlayStation, you put that first that game in brand new out the joint. Well now you ain't got to, but you something old, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you put the game in and it's like the shit got low, and you like, all right, well, I'm gonna play this other shit. You it's still working in the background. It's gonna be it's gonna be there, but you go do something else and that's how that's how life is. It's like everything is gonna happen. Everybody always got something going on. It's just relative to their situation. You know what I'm saying? Like a person that's a multi-millionaire can still be having money problems, just like you, who's not. Right. It's all relative. Right. So stick it to leave people with that shit alone, right. and right. worry about your own shit. Right. Worry about how to how like how do I get there? How do I how do I get the motivation to even want to be that motherfucker for right. real? You know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the shit people need. Like everybody at home, motherfuckers is like really still at home worrying about what people doing in their house with the money that they're getting and shit like that. And what are you worried about? Like, what are you going to come out of this with? And that don't mean, like, <clears throat> some hustle or whatever you did. Like, what steps are you taking to make sure whatever bullshit you was doing before you ain't had the time that you always complain about, yeah. you ain't still doing that shit. That's the greatest thing you can come out of this shit with, yeah. throwing away all the bullshit and being ready for the next shit because you go we got to see this shit is like the test of the emergency broadcast system the, the next shit that comes is the shit that's going to have everybody like what the fuck so you got to get it together now you got to yeah. learn sit still when the people tell you sit still for a little while just like they tell us a hey, best thing you could do is get arrested and fight your case at you at the police station yeah. don't be outside arguing with the police because it might not work out for you that's the same thing we do sit your ass down figure out some learn you Learn who all your kids' friends are and shit that they be talking to on the phone. That you don't know what they be talking about, but then they come ask you some wild ass question that ain't on Nickelodeon. Worry about that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like worry about you know the 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 the, the complaining that you do to all your friends about. If I just had some time, I'd get this house to get the fucking house together. Learn how to cook. 
Stop being right. lazy. Learn how to do your own hair, shit like that. Shit that people do who be having shit to do. You know, instead of complaining, because this shit is what it is, and it's not getting better. It ain't no, whatever that, you shouldn't even want to do the shit you was doing before. For real. I mean, other than, you know, like your family shit like that, but I mean, like, when you when you look over all what people be talking about, it's a lot of superficial shit that people worried about. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the biggest thing is, people running around like, oh, well, I'm healthy or whatever. No, it's like, you could kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's like a drug dealer don't wake up in the morning, right, and be like, yo, somebody might, yeah, whatever. There's three people down the line, somebody end up dying. Now, if they just happen to find the bag and they know it's yours, you get the murder charge. Right, right. So that's how we got to think. You know, it might not be, you could be the strongest person in the world, but you could come in contact with somebody that is not as strong as you. Right, right. And then what do you do? Because you, you, you know what I'm saying? You may never know. But that's, you know, that's what it is. And then on the flip side of that, it can all be some bullshit. But it's always better when they say stay in the house because it must be some shit going on where we need to fucking right. stay in the house. Right. So either way, we in the house, pay attention, watch the news, watch what they say, watch what they don't say. And a lot of this shit is common sense. It's like if you ain't been washing your hands and being clean, you ain't need no fucking virus for that. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, 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 I'm lost, like, I'm lost. Lotion in my pocket because I wash my hands so much. You know what I mean? You see me in this. It's like, how does light skin do your hands be ashy? Yo, because I wash my Like, I just, I don't know. It, it just, half the shit is just shit, the common ass sex that your parents taught you. Regardless but see, that's the thing. People need to get the, the message that all of this, the, the, the overall thing is, it's a chance for you to realize. Whatever you ain't had a chance to realize. Yeah. If you've been on some bullshit, right now you could be on some bullshit all by yourself and figure that bullshit out. out. And don't <laughs> have to worry about, you know, because people be on some bullshit and then they got to cut that shit off when they get around people and then they go home and they be all frazzled because they be having to, you know, switch up. You can figure out all that shit while you're home right now. So you ain't got to do that shit. You come out you. And motherfuckers might like you more for real because you coming out you. It's like, we already knew you was that motherfucker. We waiting for you to fucking right, just, bro, be you you. Right. <laughs> just be you. Just be you. Take that time to do that shit. Fuck with people doing with them twelve hundred dollars, especially if you're a motherfucker ain't getting no twelve hundred dollars. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like really just take a time. You ain't gotta be the greatest person ever. You ain't gotta come out of this shit and be a vegan and know how to do every yoga pose and meditate for fifteen days and shit like that. Everybody talk about all that. But you can come out of this same and you could come out of it a better person that's ready to tackle the stuff that you always want to do. It's like one of the memes I saw out there is like, think about it like a second life. Everybody getting a second chance right now. Niggas be begging to have a second chance for some bullshit. Everybody getting a second chance right now. So what's going to happen? You gonna, I tell my fucking, I'm like, you're going to know, you're going to, as soon as you get back to being around people, you're going to know who is doing well. All you got to do is look at their skin. The motherfuckers gonna look unhealthy and dark, or they gonna look vibrant and motherfuckers like, hey man, what's going on? What we doing? You can do that shit over there, though. We gonna figure out some new shit. We gonna, oh, something, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever, but it's just, it's just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, man. No doubt, no doubt, man. No, nah, man, because it was so, like, I saw so many people complaining so early on, and I'm like, man, we two, three weeks into this shit, fuckers, you complaining about? We got months of this shit because it's everything is going to happen in waves. And then I'm like, you yourself know with whatever fear you got at this point, Lysol, bleach, wipes, gloves, whatever the fuck you carry around, you ain't going around no motherfucking body. You know you ain't going around nobody like you used to. You know that, man, I was in the gas station and the motherfucker was in the bathroom and sneezed, and I swear it was like the loudest sneeze that it, I think just because everybody tuned into that shit now. Right. And that motherfucker came out of the bathroom, and he looked at the floor damn near like he was just going to leave out and say, fuck whatever I was going to buy, because right, right, these right. motherfuckers might, they might, they might beat the shit out of me, you know what I'm saying, burn me at the stake and shit. Like, this shit is crazy, man. Right. This shit is fucking crazy. But it shouldn't, it, the thing is, it shouldn't be crazy. 
because ain't nothing that nobody saying, nothing they say, no other time. We get the statistics for flu and every other disease every motherfucking year. Don't stop nobody from doing shit. Only difference is we don't know what this shit is, so you got to kind of just listen for real. Right, and that shit right. be hard, especially when the government be telling you shit that the government don't usually tell you to do. Right. But you just got to, because they motherfucking got no sense. Everybody worrying about some money right now and shit. You know what I'm saying? You gonna hey, make I, your I money. Gonna it's, it, it's gonna come. It's gonna all fall into place, man. It's, it's like, like you said. It's you should come out of this better than you went in. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You become a, a better version of yourself and, and, and be able to have a real conversation with yourself. Yo, yo, and, and for real, that's the thing. I think people don't have a real conversation with themselves. Oh and no! I'm gonna, beat, I'm gonna beat myself up. Cause I'ma be like, yo, I ain't going hard enough. You feel me? And it just don't have nothing to do with nobody else but fucking me. I ain't going hard enough. You need to man up. And I mean, like, yo, you like, like, you in this business, so you know, majority of people be fronting, and and, and it don't have to be about everything, but it's something where like you know it's not the gen the genuine self. So. Right. It's like that kind of stuff, you know, insecurities that people like it's just like it's just it's a great it's a great time if you decide to accept it as that. Or you could accept it as whatever else and you you ne that 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 negativity at this time ain't gonna help nothing because you can't go nowhere to get rid of that. So you can't be in the house upset and then go to the bar or yeah. go see your friends or go to the movies or do some other shit. So it's like, why not take the opportunity, you know, to whatever, you know what I'm saying? Everybody sitting home, people that you usually might want to talk to that you think can help you, you know, it's like people just sitting around and shit. Like just do something other than just sit around like, oh man, and I don't know what's going to happen. And ain't shit going to happen if y'all motherfuckers keep being outside. We gonna be in the house more, so I mean, you shouldn't be worried about nothing, right. for real. So listen, I was just... man. so no, so so listen. I what I, I'm, we're getting close to an hour, and when when two people on the live, it don't give you the count that. Oh right? yeah. Oh, okay, so cool. I, I, I don't want to look like baby like we said. And, and, and Teddy with the shit just cut off. Oh uh, no, no doubt, man, no doubt. But what I do want to thank, I want to thank you for taking time, you know, to talk to us, you know, yes, talk sir. to me talk to everybody on the live and everybody on the live uh hopefully we made it um worth your time because you can't absolutely get, not you can't, can't get the hour back you spent with it so hopefully you got a message or you got something out of out of from nokio from me or from both of us talking hopefully you was able to grab something get his music get his message get my Man. message whatever the case may be you know, no, just you know, you know, just have a moment to step away from it all, man. We right. just, you know, thank you, thank you, thank no, you. No, thank you, man. And then I, I, I'm gonna call you all off, offline because, uh, you know, it's time to work. You, you, you in the creative space. I'm in the creative space, man. So let's let's continue to work. Shout uh, out my man Bezo, Melanie. Yes, sir. Yo, thank right. you, man. Y'all have a great y'all have a great day, right. and just continue being great and get greater. Already, man. Love y'all. Here. Love you, man. Right, you good, you, man. man.